So you've been asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And then you had a pretty solid answer to that. You literally just said that on your face. Well, I want to be a snitch. Do you really want to be a snitch though? Then you become a smart ass and then you answer that, well, I don't want to be grow up and I always want to remain a child. But then life doesn't happen like that. And somebody sooner or later going to tell you, you're an adult. So start acting like one. I remember as a joke, I told my dad that when I grow up, I want to go to the moon. And this was literally what he did to me. All right, enough with the jokes. So you decided to be a cool hardware hacker. And this series is definitely for you now. Well, since you so maturely said that you want to grow up and you want to get into hardware hacking, here's the first video of what are the different tools, some necessary and some optional, but definitely helpful tools that you're going to need to do the hardware hacking. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. All the tools that are shown here in this video, um, if you look at the description of this video, you will find the links to get them the cheapest one and then some of the best quality ones because I know you are just starting into this genre and you really do not want to spend a ton of money. So don't worry about it. All the links provided there, you would find the cheapest option. So without further ado, let's just look at the first product we got. So the first absolutely necessary thing on the list would be this repair pad insulation heat resistant soldering static silicon solder mat work. It has all these little grooves to put in all the screws it has some compartments so whenever you open up some parts or screws or different parts of the hardware you can take it out and put it in these grooves the second on this list is this heat gun well i would put that in necessary slash optional because you won't be needing these in the first basic projects but then when you started to get more in depth into the hardware hacking whenever you have to desolder or remove a chip uh, you would need this heat gun. So this portable mini heat gun is absolutely good and it will help you desolder a lot of these chips and help you remove these chips for their exploitation. So if you just want to starting, uh, I would say this would be an optional. But uh, again, if you really have decided to go more in depth into this, definitely go ahead and buy this. And the next, the third thing, which is an absolutely must that you have to have is a multimeter or you can call it a multimeter however you want to pronounce it. So a multimeter is something that's going to help you figure out all the voltages, the DC AC voltage, uh, uh, current, all the resistance and so many more things. When we would be doing the hardware hacking, uh, one of the biggest thing that we would be using a multimeter for is to figure out the UART or the universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter port. So you will see as we move along what that UART port is, uh, what serial ports are and how we can do the communication. But a multimeter is an absolute necessary for doing any sort of hardware hacking. And it is pretty easy to use. And in the coming videos, don't worry about it. We will be seeing every single detail of how to use it. If you don't know any of these tools or don't know how to use it, do not worry about it. We will talk about all of this in the upcoming series. The fourth thing that is again uh, an absolute necessary is a soldering station. So if you don't want to get uh, a soldering station, a lot of soldering tools, an absolute necessary is at least a soldering iron. So as you can see, uh, I have this little soldering desoldering kit. So this is a soldering iron, a pretty simple one. And I'm showing all these stuff, which is not too cheap. It's not too expensive, but it will do all the jobs. So for an intermediate or beginner level person, all this stuff is absolutely good. And you don't have to get any extra expensive stuff. You don't have to spend 500, 600 bucks. There's no upper limit on getting stuff, but starting out, uh, all this stuff is really good. So you see here, it comes with a stand and you can just put in this stand, bolt it together, and you got yourself a pretty good soldering station. It comes with uh, some soldering wire. It also comes with uh, this little desoldering machine and a couple of wires, uh, different soldering pins that you can use. So if you're one of your soldering pins or soldering head, it gets damaged, you can replace it. So it comes with five of these soldering heads. So this is an absolute necessary the next on the list are these header pins uh, i think this is a set of 50 header pins i believe but uh, this is again a necessary so in a lot of devices you would not find uh, ur pins uh, or any port so we can solder these header pins onto that the next item that i'm showing here is called obd2 connector and this is completely optional and it's not even going to be used for hardware hacking of the electronics this is for the car and stuff so um, later in the video and in the series we also go into a little bit of car hacking so this is required for that 
Uh, another product which I would recommend, you don't have to, but I would recommend is get some sort of gloves. Uh, some really cheap uh, latex gloves would be really helpful. This will do two purposes. One, it's going to keep all your electronics safe from the static electricity and also you won't be, if you have dirty hands, uh, sometime, you know, electric equipments might be delicate and you might uh, accidentally ruin them. So it will uh, do a lot of purposes. So I would recommend having them. Another item that you will see here is this little soldering tape. So uh, this is a heat resistant tape. So the idea behind this is, and it's it's really cheap. So um, I would definitely say if you're buying a heat gun, then get this. If you're not buying a heat gun, you don't need it at that point. And the idea is just, you just put uh, this tape onto the stuff that, that you, you do not want your heat gun to uh, damage. So this is heat resistance. Another item that we need in our arsenal is this screwdriver set. Now, you don't have to get this whole set, but I would recommend getting this set and you can get it for absolutely cheap, um, really cheap prices. I would highly recommend this is a necessity. You need to have this tool in your arsenal because, you know, think about this. When you're dealing with the hardware, a lot of electronic stuff, you need to open up those hardware. So opening up hardware requires screwdrivers and a lot of supporting tools. So as you can see, this screwdriver set comes with a variety of pins and some plastic picks to open up, pry open certain things. And this is just little magnetic thing. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know how to use this. But yes, having some sort of uh, screwdriver set is an absolute necessity that you need in your arsenal. Another component that you definitely require in your arsenal is this CH341A or CH341B. It's a 2425 series. This is a, a flash programmer chip. So uh, when we would be dealing with a lot of uh, programming the flash memory or uh, flashing the chips, you would need this. So say for example, uh, if you don't know, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, that's completely okay. But imagine a scenario where you uh, picked out a flash chip and uh, you want to reprogram it right so you have some sort of firmware on it and you want to extract all the firmware look it up to see if there's a backdoor on it or want to put it back on it and then repack it and then just update the firmware so this is an absolute necessary for those kind of stuff this is a usb uh, flash bio programmer so again this is uh, in my opinion this is a must-have tool for the hardware hackers Another tool that you can get are these stainless steel uh, scrubbers. No, and you are not going to clean those hardwares, but for, it's for your soldering iron and these are really cheap. Um, get a pack of three. I got a pack of three. You just need one. And this is when your soldering iron, it tips get filled up with all the flux and all. So this is for cleaning purposes. And I'll show you how you can clean your uh, soldering iron with these little stainless steel scrubbers. So this is just to clean up your soldering tip. So really cheap. You can just buy one and put it in a little uh, simple bowl or any anything and then you can use it and I'll show you how to do that Again, this is optional but I would say just get it it's really cheap one more item that you see here is I got this really cheap helping hands this is optional you don't have to have it uh, but I was getting this for really cheap uh, the idea is you can set this up these are just like uh, your helping hands so when you're soldering uh, on any sort of PCB or any of the chip, you can just put these chips onto these helping hand. They will clamp it. They're really sturdy. And uh, basically these are just like it says, they're helping hands. So you will get a firm, sturdy chip holder and you can do your soldering and other sort of stuff on this. Again, this is optional. I wouldn't say if you don't have it, uh, nothing's gonna stop you from doing hardware hacking. But again, it's just a good tool to have in your arsenal because of the sturdiness and you can adjust the arms in any, any direction you want. And as you see, it comes with uh, five clips that you can put your chip or other things into these clamp hands. Another thing in our arsenal that must have are these jumper wires. So if you take a look at this, I got a whole bunch a pack and these are really cheap. Again, very cheap jumper wires. We definitely need these. Um, an absolute necessary in the jumper wire would be a, a female to female connection. But I was getting this pack where I have all different varieties. Um, you would see it consists of three different varieties of jumper wire. We have these ones. Uh, these are male. These are female to female one. So you see um, none of them have pins on either end. This one is male to female. So it has pin on one end and this one is male to male. So it has pin on both the ends. So these are some jumper wires. Uh, absolute necessary would be a uh, female to female, but if you're getting a pack, anyway, get a complete pack of all these. And like I said, you will find links of all this in the description. They're really cheap and uh, it's a necessity to have these jumper wires to connect anything. One more thing as a hardware hacker, 
um, another tool that you require in your arsenal is this 24 megahertz logic analyzer. It's a USB based logic analyzer device. You can see it has this 24 megahertz uh, capacity and it comes with these jumper wires and this USB port. So idea is when we are gonna connect it into any hardware, you can analyze it, uh, analyze the logic and figure out what kind of signals or what kind of uh, data it's been transmitting. So again, very cheap and you have to have this in your arsenal to figure out uh, what kind of data has been transmitting another item in your arsenal that is i mean you can have it it's good to have these are arduino nanos i got a pack of three for really cheap and uh, you don't need to have this but uh, in the later projects if we're gonna go more advanced uh, you're gonna need some sort of raspberry pis or some sort of arduino i got this arduino nanos uh, you see each arduino nano and i got three it comes with these two header pins and one more pin so we will see further along the videos how we can use them in our uh, IoT projects and different hacking projects. But again, this is optional for IoT hacking stuff. You don't need it for hardware hacking. You don't need it. But it's, if you're getting it for really cheap, uh, you can just get it and uh, it would be a good thing to have because uh, nonetheless, you're going to learn something new. One more absolutely necessary product that you have to have in your arsenal is this. And if you're wondering what this little tool is, well, let me open it and this is a ttl to usb 5 pin converter um, this is gonna be connected to your uart port and uh, the other end is gonna connect it to your laptop this is the one that we're gonna use for all the hardware hacking and uh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be the device that will be a bridge to talk to those uh, those hardware uh, right so this is a serial serial port converter uh, it's gonna talk uh, it's going to be that little converter that's going to talk between your laptop the commands you're going to send and to the hardware that you're going to send those commands to so these are all the tools that we require um, please again like i said go into the description and check out all the links and once you have them uh, you can go ahead and start watching the rest of the videos and if you just want to start right now and to get a better understanding of uh, what i will be doing in these hardware hacking series please go ahead and watch the rest of the videos and uh, once you have them you can start and experiment you can start experimenting and try and get your hands dirty with uh, following the same steps and start doing the iot slash hardware hacking thank you so much for this video have fun and i will see you guys when you get all your stuff take care